I'm Good dry. morning, doctor. Good morning. How are you? I'm well. Can I get a circulator with the mask on, please? Can I get an anesthesiologist gotcha. with the mask on, please? Seven first, right, doctor? Yes, please. Okay, great. Thank you. Oh, we should have put the music on. No, that's it. okay. We're recording. I was just thinking the same thing. It's okay. Okay, and my mask. Gracias. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Hey, Lizzo. I like Lizzo. <laughs> I know. Can we play Juice yeah, next? It's <laughs> a fun song. Got it? Yep, you know. I'll dance up there. Thanks. Okay. Take that, please. Thanks. So, three quarter sheet first. <laughs> Slow it down. <laughs> We're like going. Cock hands. Okay. Drop it. Follow your surgeon. Hands stay up. Four towels next. Towards the surgeon first. Whoop, I'm being sabotaged. Sorry, doctor, give no me a second. Worry. I gotta get my life together over here. Just be aware of that arm board, please. You're very close. Thanks, right, doctor. Cool, thanks. Uh huh. You got some clips for me? Yep, I have four sharp clips for you. All the folds are down. Dr. Rulak likes towel clips. I don't. May I? Yes, you may. Thank you. Uh huh. I'm clipping <laughs> towels only, not the patient's skin. Sticky's on or off, doctor? They can stay on for the Okay, we university. place it. Avatar. Little man's head matches patient's head. We'll go down first per the sheet. Stay on top of the bed, cough out. Arm boards. This is my trick. Make sure that it's all covered before you even try to give us anesthesia. God, we did it so good that now we'll have to go back and troubleshoot. <laughs> Cut. And then I would pull up. That's it. Let's just, like, like, no, no, just say, yeah. Thing. Let's just say you go up and you're not paying attention and this happens. Here you go, doctor. Thank you. Okay, arms out. So you, I would just grab it from where you know it's sterile. Okay, my hand's totally protected and I flop it out. This side's a little bit the same. Grab from where you know it's sterile and do that. And then anesthesia could grab the drape from underneath because it's not sterile underneath. So let's say it's kind of like, oh Lord, sometimes you guys will do this. So now what will we do? Can we have a small drape over? Small drape. Honestly, if I had extra gown, I would give my surgeon a gown, but we'll show you towels. Here's some towels, doctor. Can you do one more? I'm uncomfortable with how short that is. Yes, thank you, doctor. So good. Other way you can do it is with the half drape. Fold it in half and put it over if you have an additional half drape. If for some reason this is what fails students in terms, this part of term three and this part of term four, let's say you do forget to do I'm this. Okay? Can I pause these? All right, you forget to do this. What happens is you're all like this. When you're hooking up your lines, and you you're all up on that it. arm. You don't realize it. Even and then if it's just like this, that'll get you. Okay? So make sure the whole thing come is from covered. Behind and anesthesia anesthesia could too. Yeah. You say, hey, doctor. Oh, anesthesia will. But you got to be careful because for mine, this yeah. is unsterile. So when anesthesia comes and bring this unsterile out, it's still contaminated. You guys get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So just because of this way, the particular way, I was rushing through, trying to get the case going. So even if he was to go through it, like it's you want to do. It's contaminated with this discussion deficiency. Exactly. So it's still contaminated because this part touched, touched, touched the patient. The right. So the only way you can do it is how Miss Abba and I showed you earlier. You have it like this. This is easier. Nothing yeah. contaminated. I mean, can I have my drink back? The best method, honestly, guys, <laughs> is before you go up top, just how bring this up. Cuff your hand, number one, but bring this all the way out. If it's covered here, it's going to remain covered when you come up here. Okay. One so thing if you just take those extra seconds to make sure, and sometimes, you know, anesthesia's grabbing it and it's all wonky, well then troubleshoot like we just did. Another thing, what did you guys notice about our hand movements? When we put our drapes 
We placed them. We didn't move them. We kept it moving. We didn't go like this. You know, when you guys are draping, a lot of you will get into the habit of dropping the three quarter sheet and doing this. It's just a drop. It's a release. When we're here, it's a cuff hand release. When you grab the drape, you stay on top. What gets students is they want to come down here for some reason to find the edge of the drape. You don't have to. You have the edge of the drape here. Just stay on top of the field, on top of the patient, and come out here. You're still on top, and you go. Cuff, cuff. This is the motion. A, A, cuff. No? Okay. It's okay. All right, we're gonna do a wrap video. Any other questions, <laughs> concerns at this point? That's sure. number one. Different people reading. <clears throat> prepared draping material on the back table in order of use. It's prepared, it's messed up. If, the, uh, if using clock tower, prepare with folded edge. Got it. Apply okay. under bodice drape. Okay. <laughs> Right arm's contaminated, we need a sleeve. Need a sleeve, okay. Boom, <coughs> sleeve on. All right, okay, next. Apply adhesive towels across the perineum and midway mm -hmm. between the vulva and anus. We're gonna just say that this is it. Here is our 1,000 drape between the penis and the anus. Let it go, whatever. <laughs> Apply sterile leggings extending over the stirrup and patient's legs. I can't, I can't with you. This is going to be great. Don't have to showcase my skills here. Okay. 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 He's on the outside notice. That's where I'm going to be. Open the mouth of the drape. I call it the mouth of the drape. You want to just get it up on there. I'm still controlling this side. And then I drag that forward. Boom, done. I'm checking this, making sure that that's all prepped so it's okay that that touches. It's prepped to sterile, surgically clean to sterile. We're good. Next. Um, good cent center uh, fenestrated body sheet over the perineal area, extend upward over. So this is a laparotomy sheet, which works fine. We would take the stickies off in the real world. I'm looking for the avatar. The man's legs are here, so they match the man's legs here. Shove it on here, press it, because the stickies will then stick onto the patient. Okay, now this is a big lap sheet, and sometimes we do use these guys. I'm gonna find the edge, try to cuff my hands the best I can. Here you go, doctor. Let anesthesia that. pull that up, I stay here. Okay, because as that doctor is pulling, the whole sheet will move, the fenestration will be up here. What about the arm? If we don't care about that right now. Let's we'll get there. But I'm steady staying and keeping the fenestration at the perineum because if it ends up up here and you drag it down, you've just contaminated everything because nothing up here on the patient is sterile. Okay, so cuff gives you anesthesia and remain holding here. Now, then I would just let this drop into the pouch. Now this drape is a bit much. Now, I have the added issue here of, oh my God, the hole is this long. If you guys come and look, you're gonna see my blanket. If you guys come and look, you're gonna see my blankets there. I need to cover that. Now, in the real world, we, oh, I'm so sorry. We have drapes that have a smaller fenestration, so this wouldn't be an issue, but we're working with what we have here at Concord University. So I take a three quarter sheet or a towel, whatever's, whatever you got, and cover it. Okay, we really only need this part, like if we're doing a cysto case. We only need access to the urethra. Okay, clear, arm, I'm gonna come this way. Let's see what's going on over here. Yeah, this is shady town. May I have a two towel sleeve? Mm -hmm. I'm just not even gonna touch this because this is still contaminated. There's one. There's one, and all the while I'm watching my face on these drapes, okay? We don't care how you do it, just cover it. Just make sure it's all covered. Okay, make sense? Yeah. And then we're working down here, so it's not the end of the world that that's not covered either. It would only matter if we were doing like a combined laparoscopy, someone's up top and someone's down below, then this would matter, because you see my body is here, okay? But because if we're doing just a lower body case, that you could just leave it and get away with it, okay? 
unless you're throwing off lines up there. Just cover it. Just cover it. <laughs> Questions? I have a question. Um, part of that leg drape was under that metal part, and then it was pulled out. Which part? Um, this part. It was like this before, and then it was oh, it was folded. pulled. It was like that. It wasn't all the way over. Okay. But if that is the case, leave it like you said. Like we'd have okay. to get something else. We have, okay. One good thing is we have um, tin tents, which have sticky plastics that you can stick right here, which I wish we had one. I wish we did too. Um, I was acting like this was that. So it, it looks was, like this. Yes. It's just a sticky adhesive that's peeled, and then it gets something stuck. like that. Yeah. Okay. So, so that would cover it. Yes. Okay. But good question. Good question. Any other yeah. questions? Yes. So when we're putting the uh, drape on the butt drape, we just, if we contaminate, we're just, just leave on? That's what we normally do. Real world. Well, you, oh, I thought you guys would do well, the other way around. I thought you, you kind of imply like leg, leg drapes and then. Normally, we like to do the leg drapes first, first to avoid but you flow, you flow with your surgeon. So if the surgeon, True. They, they will do the vent, but like, we won't have to worry about it. We usually are the leggers. Lagers, Lagers, Lagers. You know what I mean? Like normally we don't ever have to worry about the butt drink ever anyway. So that's why we're accustomed to leggings first because that's the surgeon. But you would be, they usually will give you a legging, someone will do a butt, and then we, we don't ever worry about that because we're always the legging. Being in the field too, currently, sometimes you'll have surgeons don't call me in the room until you're a drape. Yes. Then it's all you, then do it the safest way so you don't have to have your nurse run and get a sleeve. Do your leggings first, okay? Especially if you're by yourself. Yes. How long you're gonna... for testing? Mm -hmm. So in testing, we just want to make sure you guys do it first. I don't care what order you do oh. it in. Just keep it as sterile as possible. That's me, if I'm grading you. I would prefer to see leggings first, personally. Dr. Z. I don't want you to contaminate. So if yeah. you do the robotic, keeps you from contaminating, fine, whatever. Do the leggings, fine, whatever. Don't contaminate. That's my biggest thing. Don't contaminate, don't contaminate, don't contaminate. And if you do, fix it. Yeah. Call it out, ask for what you need. Yeah. Keep going. Cool. Okay. Any other questions, concerns?